If you are anything like me, you love the waterfront, but the amount of plastic that you see washed up on shore can be just depressing. It seems like it never ends. However, we may have a solution to our plastic problem one day, and part of that solution might surprise you. No, not mushrooms like these, but fungus, one of which being Aspergillus tubingensis. But first, let's talk about a kind of plastic for a minute. Polyurethanes are synthetic polymers generally made up of diisocyanates, polyols, and chain extenders, and are used in everything from refrigerators to insulation panels to condoms. And important to note is that not all plastics are polyurethanes. A polyurethane molecule ends in a hydroxyl group, which allows for the chain of molecules to consist of alternating segments. Polyurethanes are versatile and frequently used polymers because you can create substances with many different properties by mixing and matching hard and soft segments. However, polyurethane, like most plastic, takes years to biodegrade and poses threats to wildlife and ecosystems in the meantime. And that's where Aspergillus tubingensis comes in. In 2017, a team of scientists found a previously undiscovered strain of Aspergillus tubingensis, which is a black Aspergillus fungus that does not produce mushrooms, in a garbage dump in Pakistan. My earlier example was just for show. They found that it could break down polyurethane in a matter of weeks instead of decades. This process can be affected by multiple external stimuli, such as temperature and pH, but the basic process of its biodegradation goes like this. The first step is the adhesion of the spores onto the polyurethane surface. Studies have shown that hydrophobic interactions are responsible for the adhesion of microorganisms to polyurethane when it's buried. The second step is the propagation of the fungus on the surface of the polyurethane, and the third step is the secretion of enzymes. These two steps go hand in hand, as they work together to degrade the polyurethane. The growth of the fungi is mycelium, and on a smaller scale, its hyphae, into the plastic, slowly works to erode it, leading to physical changes like cracks, pits, and an overall decrease in tensile strength. Then, kind of like if you were playing Dungeons and & Dragons and rolled really badly against a gelatinous cube so are currently being digested, the enzymes work to hydrolyze, or break apart with water, different bonds in the polyurethane molecule. The two most important enzymes during this process are esterase and lipase, and the most obvious sign of this chemical degradation is found in the disappearance of the molecule's urethane group. And the process continues until the fungus has little left to degrade. Also, a recent study found that Aspergillus' enzymes are optimized at 37 degrees Celsius, and this knowledge may be utilized for possible future large-scale usages of the fungi. No, Aspergillus tubingensis does not biodegrade all plastic, and yes, we won't be able to just magically use this fungus to make all polyurethane waste disappear in a few months or even years. But Aspergillus tubingensis represents hope for the future of plastic waste on Earth. Maybe one day our beaches will be clear of trash, but until then, we have to keep working.